Hi, this is Catherine from Langchain. Retrieval augmented generation is a powerful technique that supplies your agent with external information and can improve agent performance. However, relying on RAG alone, agents can often pull in irrelevant documents to their user question. What if you could catch and fix that before generating an answer? In this video, we'll show how to use in-the-loop evaluations to filter our noisy results and boost answer quality. If you're not familiar with RAG, RAG essentially retrieves facts from an external knowledge base to ground LM on accurate, up-to-date information. RAG applications in their most basic form consists of two steps. First, in a retrieval step, context is retrieved to provide the LM with the information it needs to respond to the user. Common sources include vector database or web retrieval. Second, in the generation step, the LM uses the retrieved context to then formulate an answer. Now, for the retrieval step, semantic search returns results with the highest semantic similarity. While the top results do reflect general similarity in topic based on ranking, but they don't necessarily suggest direct answer or relevancy to the user's specific inquiry. One fix for this is to add in-the-loop evaluation steps to your RAG pipeline, adding a relevance check to ensure the retrieved information actually supports the user's intent, filter poor results, and course correct before it responds. We'll show you an example of how you can create such a reflection step in your architecture. And instead of building the evaluation logic from scratch, we'll show you how you can leverage open evals, an open source package that contains out-of-the-box tools for RAG-related evaluations. Open evals includes a number of helpful out-of-the-box evaluators. This includes ones for LM as a judge, RAG, and code evaluation. Today, we're going to focus specifically on the RAG evaluator section. OpenEval provides pre-built evaluators to assess key parts of your RAG pipeline. This includes first, correctness, which measures how similar or correct is a generated answer to a ground truth answer. Second is helpfulness. This evaluates whether the answer actually addresses the user's question. Third is groundedness. This checks if the final answer aligns with the retrieved context and finally, is retrieval relevance. This scores how relevant each retrieve doc is to the original question. Let's see how this can be applied in action. First, let's see a base example to see how our base agent performs without the reflection steps. So this is a simple React agent architecture that uses a small, fast local LLM through a llama and obtains web search results through Tamale's search engine tool. I can feed an example input to our agent asking about the words records last year. The query is routed to our agent note, which generates its response through calling the web search tools. And from here, it generates a long answer about the words historical records. But if we examine closely, it dances around our original question a bit and is not necessarily catered towards the words specific record last year. And this is where the reflection step architecture can come in and improve the quality of our agent response. To improve the correctness of our web search rack, we added two reflection steps in the architecture. First, a corrected rad inspired approach of grading and filtering retrieved search results for relevancy. This reduces the amount of distracting information the small LM has to deal with when generating a final response. Second, a helpfulness evaluator that run as a reflection step over generated answer. If an answer is not considered helpful in answering the original question, the LM is re-prompted through a retried workflow. This ensures that it hasn't lost track of its original goal, which can happen if retrieval returns many relevant results. Let's take a look at how these two steps are constructed in code. First, let's walk through the logic behind the relevance filtering step. This creates the relevancy of each web search result from Tivoli. First, it extracts the last message from the state, which should be the result from the web search tool. It then confirms that this message came from the search tool, extracts the raw search results, and prepped an empty list to store docs that pass our relevance test. We then define an inner evaluate function that creates a relevance evaluator. The relevance evaluator passes on the attempted search query by fetching from the state as well as the search result as the context. It then returns both the search result and evaluation output. We then build a list of async tasks, one for each retrieved document to run the evaluator. Then going through each task as it finishes, 
If the score from the evaluator result is true, meaning that the search is relevant, we keep the result by appending it to the filtered result list. And finally, we return the filter results list as part of the message. And for our second in the loop evaluator, reflect, similarly, this pulls from the most recent message from the conversation, which is the final answer that LM generated based on the retrieved context. We then create the helpfulness evaluator from open evals to check if this output actually answers the original question. It does so by comparing the answer to the original question stored in state, evaluating the alignment with the user's intent. If the answer is deemed to be not helpful by our evaluator, instead of continuing, we insert a reflection message from the user back to the agent loop. The message reminds the agent what the original question was, explains the reason why the previous answer wasn't successful using the evaluator's feedback, suggests rechecking the conversation history or context, and lists the search queries already attempted and asks the agent to rephrase if it wants to search again. This provides the agent with context to retry. Now that we've seen how this is constructed in code, let's try it out. Let's feed into the studio with the same example input asking about the where is record last year. The query is routed to our agent node, which generates its response through calling the web search tools. Each result is then passed to the relevance filter node to grade the results. Then from the relevant documents, our agent generates the respond, which passes to the final helpfulness evaluation node. And there's our final answer. We can also inspect the trace and length method to take a detailed look at the behavior. The query is first passed to the first node, which stores the original user query in the state. The agent then generates a query of Golden State Warriors record last year, which is then passed on to a web search node. Taking a detailed look at the Tavili tool, we can see that 10 results have been retrieved. As a next step, all 10 results are separately passed through the LM as retrieval relevance judges. Taking a look at the first result, for example, this contains the Golden State Warriors scores, stats, and highlights. Our evaluators graded that it does not explicitly state the record from the previous season, so that it wasn't included in the final result. At the end of the query, we are left with one result that our agent then uses to produce an answer. From there, the answer is passed to the reflect step, where the LM as helpfulness judge evaluator has deemed the response to be helpful to the original query then outputting the final response to end user. Now that we have added these out-of-the-box reflection steps within our architecture, this helps filter for relevancy and can ensure better answer quality from our agent. Thank you for watching.